No wonder Benjamin Netanyahu, the Israeli Prime Minister, is looking positive here as he visited the Western Wall in Jerusalem with his two sons after casting his vote in the Israel election, as he is predicted to win a third term in office, although analysts claim it will be with a reduced majority as loss of support has seen the stock of the new ultra-nationalist party Jewish Home Rise whose manifesto includes uniting the whole state of Israel with Jews and Arabs alike. Although this election has been perceived as a rather low-key election, there are 5,656,000 eligible voters and 34 parties standing who are looking to focus on the issues that matter, namely economic and social issues. And for the first time, the public is able to follow the counting of ballots in real time on a government website. The final results are expected tomorrow, after which coalition talks could then take several weeks to decide the election. I'm Anne Salter. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the very latest news and updates on the Israel election with us at ibtimes.co.uk.